Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using conditionals in Middleman. Conditionals are basically ways that you can help your ERB files to make decisions. So if I have a layout in my Middleman project, then I can use conditionals, which are basically just if else statements to help that to make conditions to make decisions. So it can basically make your layouts and your templates a lot smarter. I'm gonna head over to my layout here. And actually, before I do that, I just wanna to talk to you about my current setup. I have three content pages here. I have index.html, b.html, and then I have a.html. And we're gonna use those three files in our conditionals demonstration. So over here on this layout.erb file, I wanna just come down here into the body and imagine that I wanted to display a certain thing on the page when a certain condition was met. So only when that certain condition was met did I wanna actually like display an HTML element or something. And we can use conditionals to be able to do something like that. So up here, I want to create an if statement. So let's say that if the title of the page is equal to A, then we want to do something, but only when the title of the page is equal to A do we want to do something. So only when we're on this um, a.html file, only when that's displaying do we want to to do something. And just so you know, inside of this file, I have the title equal to A, and inside of this B file, the title is equal to B. So yeah, so only when we're on that A file do we want to do something. I can create an if statement just like this. So open and close, greater than, less than two percent signs and now I just want to type um, if and then I want to type out the condition so our condition is current page dot data dot title and we want to check to see if that's going to be equal to something so if that's equal to a only when that's equal to a do we want to actually do something and then we're going to need to close this off with an end tag and now inside here whatever we put in here is only going to show up when we're on that a file so we can just say like this is oops, the a file and now when i head over to my website you'll notice i'm here on the home page and that's not showing up right and if i go over here to the b page same thing right it's not going to show up but when i go to the a.html page it is gonna show up. And so we have, this is the A file and it's showing up right there, okay? So that is basically how we can use conditionals to control the flow of something. So I'm here on this layout and I, you know, I'm only showing this is the A file when I'm on that a.html page. You can actually take this a step further too. So we can use conditionals to check to see if uh, certain front matter variables are set. So in addition to just checking one thing, instead of just checking one, I wanna check two. And so I can use this keyword and, and when I use and, what it'll do is it'll check two conditions for me. And only when those two conditions are met will uh, this is the A file display. So now I'm gonna write another condition and we're just gonna check to see if um, there's an author variable set. So I can say current, page dot data dot now author and so i'm i'm not gonna like check it to see if this is equal to anything i'm just gonna check to see if this is set so if you see in this a file author is not set and so over here that disappeared right we're not seeing this is the a file anymore but if i went into here and i added an author variable now this should show back up, right? This is the A file shows back up because now we have an author. Another thing that you can do is use an else and an else if. So instead of just having end here, I can just put else if, actually it's just like that. And I could check another condition. So let's check to see if the current page is instead of equal to A, we'll check to see if it's equal to B. And then if it is equal to B, we'll do something else. And also down here, we're gonna need to end this off with an end tag. So instead of printing out this is the A file, we'll just print out this is the B file. And so now, when I go over to this b.html file, it prints out this is the B file. But when I'm back on the home page, 
nothing gets printed out, right? Except for the content on the homepage. And there's one more thing I can do, which is add in an else. And so what this will do is it'll allow us to display something on that homepage um, and, and, and any other pages that don't have the title set to A or B. So we could say like, this is not A or B. And now on the homepage, we should be able to display that code. So this is how you can use conditionals in your .erb templates to be able to control like the flow of your program. Basically, you can help your layouts to make decisions and only do certain things when certain conditions are met. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.